What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, DBTV here, back with a brand new reaction video. If you're not a best one yet and you're an NBA fan, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications because you already know the grind is real. And before we get into this Ben Simmons press conference reaction, just want to congratulate Brooklyn Nets former Brooklyn Net, Jared Allen, on getting selected into the All-Star game this year. Can't wait to see him play. Well deserved. I'm glad he is grinding out in Cleveland, and he is definitely one of the big reasons why the Cleveland Cavaliers are in the position that they are in right now. And it's great to see Jared Allen getting the opportunity out there to show what he can do. And it is awesome to see Jared Allen finally become an All-Star Congratulations. I miss, still miss you in Brooklyn. Fortunately, we had to trade you for Diva James Harden. But, um, yeah, now we got ourselves Ben Simmons. And today he did a press conference actually speaking out for the first time. No reports or anything like that. Ben Simmons speaking out. And I'm very excited about this because, yes, when he first got drafted into the NBA, I was a big fan of Ben Simmons. And then... When Brooklyn and Philly, we had our playoff series in 2019. I did not like Ben Simmons and some of the actions he's did he's done. But then after what happened last playoffs with everybody in Philly turning their backs on him. And I just wanted to see Ben Simmons ball. Because at the end of the day, Ben Simmons can ball. And I'm just excited that we get a talented player like him to play for the Nets. So let's hear what he's got to say in this press conference. I hope he likes the smoothies process been like for you and, and when do you anticipate being able to participate in games yes i don't have a date yet um but i'm working it better be for fir before, before philadelphia versus um, nets in and, a couple weeks yeah so no date yet but you know i'm, I'm starting to ramp it up i want to see him play right before philadelphia and nets that could have changed your mind and got you to play again or your mind made up and you know, until you were out of Philadelphia, you were definitely not going to play again. For me, it was just making sure mentally I was right to get out there and play again. So that's something I've been, you know, dealing with. Um, and it wasn't about the fans or coaches or comments made by anybody. It was just a personal thing for me. Um, that was earlier than, you know, that that's, that series or, or even that season that I was dealing with. Um, you know, and that organization knew that. So it, it was something that. You know, I, I continue to deal with, and you know, I'm getting there and getting to the right place to, you know, get back on the floor. Let's be honest. He's talking about Joel Embiid because both of the two, they're not going to be able to win a championship together. Their playing styles just won't win a ring. That's what he's trying to say. I feel like. Don't get me wrong, Embiid's a freaking goat, but freaking Ben Simmons is also pretty good. Yeah, for me, it wasn't. That was never. The mental health has nothing to do with. It. Just to trade, you know, it was, it was a bunch of things that I was dealing with as a person in my personal life that I don't really want to go into that. And hold on, we're going to pause right there. That's a thing that a lot of freaking people, us NBA fans, need to understand is that these players, they are human beings as well outside of the NBA. Like, they have lives. They also go through shit every day. Yes, they're playing the sport that we love watching. They're making millions off of playing a sport that they love. And what we love watching. But they also have a lot of bullshit that they got to deal with in their everyday lives. And we don't know what they're going through. Um, and I think just Philly, yeah, with everything that happened in that you know, playoffs, it was just know, icing on the cake. In an organization like this. And you know, I'm just looking forward to getting back on the floor and, and building something great here. That's what we're all about. Ben Simmons is building. Um, for you personally moving forward. I'm curious what the kind of things are, if you can even quantify them, have to happen, I guess, for you to be in the right hand. Sean Marks knows how to treat his players. And competing. Just stay on top of what I need to stay on top of. Um, and being consistent with that is getting to the place where I can do that. I feel like he's going to come back in no time. Yeah, man, you, um, Definitely. When you played your last game with the Sixers, what was going through your mind? What were your last emotions? Ooh, good question. Um, All right. What was the straw that basically snapped that made you say... The whole city of Philadelphia turning their backs on him. Go. He ain't going to say it, but um, that's the truth. It was really, that was more so just a... 
it was just piled up a bunch of things that had gone on over the years to where I just knew I wasn't myself and I needed to get back in, into that place of, you know, being myself and, and being happy as a person. Um, and Always got to put your happiness before um, anything else. And that was like, the, that Absolutely. was the main thing for me. Um, it wasn't about the basketball, it wasn't about the money, anything like that. Um, you know, I want to be who I am. Damn right it wasn't about the money. He wouldn't have sat out those freaking games if it was about the money. You know, being myself. And the last game? Last game? What, what's Just the question? Know what was going on through your mind after the last game? Um, I need to get in a good place mentally, honestly. Um, that was the main thing. Hey, that's a big thing with basketball. And when you look at this roster, the makeup of this team, there are times where... You could be on the floor with KD. That's how you play your best basketball is when you're mentally there. How do you see your, how do you see your role? He's not wrong. Or what kind of conversations have you had with Steve about uh, what that would be? Yes, I think it's just staying aggressive, playing to to my strengths, and that's, you know, being a playmaker. And playmaker and defense, baby! Playmaker and defense! Um, that's I'm right. I need to lock down. Um, so I'm excited to... You know, I want to know if someone's going to ask him about his three-point shot. Incredible talent, so... That's what I want to um, hear. Super I know Steve Nash already said that he's not worried about the three-point shot. Um, obviously, Kyrie was away from basketball for a little while at the beginning of the season. He was talking about how difficult it was for him to... I can't uh, wait until that mandate is friggin' I lifted in New York. I want to see Kyrie I'm play full-time. What, what were you able to do while you were away from the team that would, I guess, be able to help you prepare for this moment? Just being consistent with my work. Um, every day, being very consistent with my work. Uh, make, making sure I'm taking care of my body. Um, and then staying on the floor. So I was on the floor. Hey, that's a thing, too, you got to give Ben Simmons credit on. He looks like he's still in pretty good shape as well, despite not playing any a lot of the games. What has your routine been since you've been with Just want to say, he definitely looks like he's in shape. A lot of people that take time away from the game, they get themselves out of shape. Um, ones, twos. We've had some bodies for, you know, three and three, four and four. Hey, Ben, I, I know you want to... Especially if Rich Paul is his agent, he's definitely making sure he's prepared for the season, all right? He's definitely prepared. Rich Paul got him right. Did you feel like you couldn't... That's LeBron's agent as well. ...in Philadelphia, and was that part of the reason you asked for a trade? I guess, could you explain that a little bit? Yeah, I think that was part of it. I think, you know, I just wasn't in the place there. Um, to do that, um, and a lot of things had happened over that summer to where I don't, I don't, I didn't feel like I was getting that help. Um, I agree. But it is what it is. You know, I don't have any. Wasn't a personal thing towards you know any player or, or um, coach, or you know owners or anything like that. Um, it was about myself. You know, getting to to a place where you know I need to be. When it comes to that mental recalibration, has it helped, or even how much has it helped just to have a change of pace, a different environment, uh, where to take your skills? Um, I think it has. I think. Um, just the way everybody's welcoming me here. Um, That's right. It's been great. You know, it's been ben 10, great. baby. You know, been ben 10. So and, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to what's to come. And a couple quick ones. Just following up on the Philly stuff. Why do you think you got so Feels good to have somebody that actually wants to be on the I fucking I, I team. I would tell you everything. I just want to say but, that. Um, there's just a lot of things internally that, you know, had happened um, over time. And it just got to a place where I don't think it was – good for me um mentally so you know it is what it is it happened and, and uh, moving forward so and as far as playing with Kyrie and KD how do you think what you do accentuates what they already do on the floor well uh, I think it's gonna be scary <laughs> scary hour the real scary hour is about to happen you know, multiple different James ways. Harden friggin' eleven game losing yeah. streak. I think at the pace we want to play at, it's it's just gonna be. But of course, as soon as we get friggin' Seth Curry and Andre Drummond, we actually break that losing streak. As someone who's you know plays basketball for a living and loves the game, James Harden's overrated. Cool to you know kind of stick with that. And what was the most challenging thing about? Um, not doing what I love. Um, That's why Ben Simmons is a playmaker. The difficult part. He cares so about winning game. more than stats. You know, when you take something away from somebody that, you know, what they love doing, it's, it's, it's hard for anybody. Um, and I can't wait until Philadelphia turns their backs on friggin' James Harden. Stay in a positive It'll happen. Place and get to, you know, where I need to be. Um, it was difficult, but, you know, um, you know, I'm blessed to be in this situation and have this opportunity. Ben. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Ben. Ben 10. you get through this time, and was it hard not to... It seemed like for a while, every day, somebody was saying something. There was somebody, Sixers, media, there was... 
did you pay attention to that and did any of that bite you um i mean this is the first time i'm really speaking up right so yeah last six months i had everybody saying something yeah he definitely everybody heard all that crap let's be honest he wouldn't have wanted out of philadelphia if he didn't hear all that crap and i'm not the type of person to they all turn their backs on him some the city, know. the organization, the coaches, the players. Um, yeah, you know, I had my family there supporting me from day one. Um, family over I've everything. I've made a ton of friends that work with the Sixers too, so it was never, you know, a personal thing. It was just for my well-being um, to get where I need to be. To. And is there anything that was said that you heard that you'd like to clear up? That you, you... man, we, we'll be here for a while if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, every everybody has a source, right? There's hundreds of sources. Yeah, for real. Every everybody coming up with crap. I apologize. I'm getting ahead of ourselves too much, but you guys do have a game in Philly in a couple of weeks. Do you think Ooh. you should be ready for that? You know, physically, mentally, you know. I'm Come on, Ben. I hope so. Woo! Let's go. I hope so. He said. Hey Ben, uh, just you, you saying That's right. I'm you hoping Ben has to be ready for that game. I want him to drop a 50 point game on Philadelphia. I want him popping threes. I want him hitting mid range shots, driving triple doubles, quadruple doubles. I don't care. So I feel physically, pretty good. Um, mentally, I'm getting there. So that's a, it's an ongoing thing to just stay on top of that. Um, but I'm, I think I'm heading in the right direction. Thank hey, ben, you. Oh, definitely. Getting out of Philadelphia, that definitely that must game. take curious, a little bit of stress of off his plate, you know, definitely. Proximity, the quality of the roster is, you know, the caliber of players, yourself and James. Do you think, A, that this is instantly now going to become a fierce rivalry? Um, Damn right it is. I mean, I've, James Harden you know, made this I've shit personal. I played Brooklyn in the first round and had them booing and Jared Dudley. <laughs> I was there. I was there. Uh, but no, I, I want everybody to be looking at us. Like, the rivalry oh, goes back um, to that playoffs. I'm, I'm positive we can do that. Um, oh, I hated him. I hated Ben so much in that series. I hated him so much. We talked about having to get in the right mental space to be able to. But he was balling against us, though. Can't lie about that. Well, maybe you don't see them. When people are commenting. Because before that series, I was a fan of Ben Simmons. I really liked him until before that series. You take offense to that. No, because I can't tell somebody how they feel, right? I can't tell somebody, you know, you need to do this or that. Because I don't know how they feel. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know how they're processing things. So I can't do that. But I can't also put somebody else, you know, down for having those comments. I respect person. Ben Simmons yeah, for really handling him handling himself um, very professionally you, right now in, like in so this. It's just, a lot better than freaking diva James Harden, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. And I don't want to really watch his freaking press yeah, conference, um, but I'm going I, to. I, I too for you. I'm just curious because I got to call him out on all that cap. Like with Philadelphia on the way out, and as you look back, is there anything in order to kind of move forward that you would have done differently? Or uh, nothing. Um. Yeah, I think. They should have yeah. freaking traded him when he wanted to leave. I spoke to Josh Harris. They called me. I spoke to Doc Rivers. Um, and I spoke to Tobias. And there was a couple other places I spoke to about it. And, you know, they, they were happy, you know, for me to just be in a different situation. And, you know, to, for me to get back on the floor eventually. So Good. Um, That's what I'm talking about. I, I always like Tobias Harris. Supported me well enough S this. Same with MB, too. Did you speak with Joel? I just hate James Harden, no, though. Thank you. Woo-hoo-hoo. Uh, trade that Oh, yeah. Game. There's going to be a rivalry I'm there with Ben Simmons and Embiid and for a while. What were your emotions and when you got the call, when you got the word that it was done, and who, who gave you that information? Um, yeah, I was sitting there on my laptop with the TV in front, so my phone just started blowing up. Um, oh, yeah. yeah That's how it always it works. You find out through Twitter. When WWE releases happen, happen yeah. they find out through Twitter. Um, NBA trades, they happen to find it on friggin' Twitter. Away. You know, I got my grandparents 30 minutes away, so it's nice to have them, you know, close by also. And uh, I think um, just this whole experience has been kind of surreal. Was there like an emotional release of any sort? I don't think it really hit me until I was, you know, by myself. Because um, I was around my, my brothers and friends at the time. Um, so once it really happened, I had to really take, take some time to myself and really process it. Michael Grady.
I really hope Ben Simmons goes out there and he proves everybody wrong. I feel like he's ready. He's ready to shut up a lot of people. And I'm glad he's going to be able to do it in Brooklyn. Because this is the organization, guys, where friggin' D'Angelo Russell became an all-star. Which was great. Lots of players freaking play really good in Brooklyn, so I really have a good feeling about Ben. Soon after the trade, like, who were your first conversations with? I know you said you were with your brother, and then how soon after, kind of digging through all your, you know, texts and whatever you were getting, did you get to kind of really talk to uh, Katie and Kyrie and you know talk about what would happen going forward? Yeah, I mean, I spoke to Katie a couple of hours after. Um, and you know, he, he was great in the phone. You know, he was very welcoming, so he's excited too. So that's right. Because KD, team. man, he's ready to friggin' work. He wants that championship. David Aldridge. He was literally a toe away last year. You, you had a specific ball handling, playmaking role in Philly. What do you think your specific role, your best role, will be in Philly, in uh, Brooklyn? Defense, I think, uh, playmaking. I, I to my early seasons with JJ Redick. Um, Ursula Sova and, and Marco Bellinelli when we um, About to get Joe Harris open, about to get Seth Curry open, about to get freaking Patty Mills open, Cam Thomas splashing, cashing and splashing. I like to see everybody scoring, contributing in whatever way they can. Team basketball. Um, play the win. So, you know, That's you always one of my favorite game, things is team basketball. And, and use everybody's abilities. I'm excited. Yeah. I am excited. The abilities that everybody has. Because that's what this Brooklyn Nets team needs is ball movement. And that's like one thing that KD and Steve Nash really like to do is the ball movement stuff. Skeptical that are going to say that James Harden was faking his hamstring injury and that you were uh, maybe faking your mental health issues. What do you have Ooh. to say to those people that saw you smiling yesterday during a shoot around um, and then on the bench as well? What do you say to those people that have skepticism about that and where are you in that process? They should be happy I was smiling, honestly. Um, For real. I've had some dark times over these last six months, um, and I'm just happy to be in this. Hold on. This With all the shit that Ben Simmons has been through, this man definitely deserves to have a smile. He deserves to be happy. All the shit that this guy went through in that playoff series and the summer and the regular season, wanting to leave Philly and then they would not trade him, because they have one of the most freaking ridiculous GMs in the freaking NBA. Who is a stubborn little prick. I don't blame Ben Simmons for smiling. I think we should all be happy that Ben Simmons gets to finally play the game he loves. And he finally gets an opportunity to prove people wrong. We should be happy for him. This team um, and organization. So people are going to say what they want. They've said it the last six months. For real. Come to, um... And it is what it is, so people always going to have their own opinions. Wait, given that, given comments like that, do you think there needs to be a change? He wanted in how out, really should have let about them out. To their mental health? For sure. I, I don't think people really understand the. I don't even look at it as pressure. There's just so many things going on with Hey, them, I deal with mental know, health, so I, I understand it. Um, but there's going to be days that you're depressed. There's going to be days that you're um, happy. But that's, that's something that, you know. But of course, because he's an NBA player, millions of people and, and watch him. As soon as he, like you know, puts a smile, um, then everybody's okay like, oh, he was faking the whole freaking yeah, mental health thing. One more thing. question, Christian. Ben, what kind of work have you done to improve people the really don't know. percentage? People really don't know. Non stop working. Um, non stop working. That's what I like to hear. I've been working every day. Um, Let's get that three-point shot, Ben. We got you here in Brooklyn. We got you, Definitely. Ben 10. That's what I'm talking you, about. Oh, and I'm not ready for the James Harden one, so let me make sure that doesn't play. But, um, damn, overall, I am excited to see Ben 10 and see what he could do here in Brooklyn. I think he's going to be a major piece for this organization, especially for us going to compete for a championship. We're definitely going to need that playmaking, ball movement, and we're definitely going to need that defense that Ben brings to the game. Hopefully, like, he has developed that three-point shot, and I really hope that this Brooklyn Nets organization – us fans, you know, we all can welcome Ben Simmons with open arms and really give this man the confidence he needs because I think with the right pieces and with KD and Kyrie and the roster that we have right now, I really think that we could seriously win a championship. 
So I really hope Ben, you know, he keeps his head in the game and let's have his back, guys, the best we can. But um, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a best one yet already and you love the Brooklyn Nets like I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button now, turning on the post notifications. Links are down in the description below. You can go follow me on my social medias. All that is down in the links below. And to all the best ones out there worldwide, we are taking over. I'll see you guys with my next James Harden reaction. Peace. I don't like to talk, I just got way too much to say. They've been trying to get me, I'm a